Breaking overnight, two Holland America cruise ships are waiting outside Port Everglades in South Florida, carrying passengers believed to be infected with the coronavirus. The cruise line says more than 200 people on the two ships have flu-like symptoms. On one ship, the Zandam, nine people have tested positive for COVID-19, and two of them have died. Manuel Bajorquez is in Miami. Manuel, what will happen to the people on board? Anthony, we can tell you there are 1,200 passengers and 1,100 crew between both ships. Officials say fewer than 10 people require critical care right now. They'd like to get them to a local hospital, but at this point, it is still unclear exactly how they plan, plan to safely transport them off the ship. Medical attention, they've got, they're doing the best they can, but I think he needs more than that on land. Jennifer Allen's parents, Gloria and Bill Weed, are passengers on the Zandam. She says both have had fevers for more than a week, and her father has developed pneumonia. We don't want anybody to be infected in Fort Lauderdale because they want to land there. We just want to make sure that the people that are really sick get help fast. I mean, you look at this as a humanitarian issue. It is. It's absolutely a humanitarian issue. I've never felt like my parents were more vulnerable than right now. Catherine Callahan's parents, John and Rosemary, are also on board the Zandam. You could certainly catch COVID, but you could be susceptible to something else. So getting everybody off that ship as soon as possible is imperative. As late as Wednesday night, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was reluctant to bring all passengers ashore. We just want to make sure that, pe that people are safe. Florida has the fifth highest number of reported cases in the country and a highly vulnerable population. More than a quarter of Floridians are over the age of 60. I'm going to be doing an executive order today uh, directing all Floridians to limit movements and personal interactions outside the home to only those necessary to obtain or provide essential services or conduct essential activities. After resisting for weeks, DeSantis finally issued a statewide shelter-at-home order Wednesday. If the seniors and those who have health problems, uh, if they're staying home, if they're protecting themselves, uh, then I think we're going to be able to get through this. The governor's order deems religious institutions as essential and exempts them from social distancing guidelines, which critics say defeats the purpose. As for cruise ships, there is yet another on the way to Florida where the crew reports a higher than normal number of passengers with flu-like symptoms. Gail? Manuel, thank you.